How do we pressure test gas line? Why would we pressure test gas line? What types of gas piping do I use on my jobs? How do you find a gas leak? That's what today's video is on. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell ding so you know what I'm doing. If you want help with your project or tech support, join, become a member. Let me know in the comments, say I joined. I'll send you my email and that will lead to contact with me. If you have questions, put those in the comments. I answer all the questions. I look at all the questions and questions can become content. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, let's go. So this is a new construction house. This is the gas piping that we've got going into the house. You can see this little L we made and then there's a T and then that right there is the drip leg. We've got a gauge on here because I'm about to pressure test. That's why we've got this valve stem here and this is what I'm gonna hook up my compressor to to pump this full of air. So I'll probably pump it up to about 30 PSI. Sometimes you gotta pump it up to 60. Depends on your county, your rules. You need to get with your gas company. Now this is the riser here and this is where the meter will hook up to. And this right here is the shutoff, and it's tagged right here. It's locked out. It's not tagged. It's locked out. Gas company's got it locked out until they set the meter and verify that it is holding pressure for a certain amount of time. Now, depending on what county you live in, depending on your rules in your county and your gas company, you may have to have a pressure test for 24 hours for 30 PSI or 60 PSI or 4 hours. It may be a different time and a different pressure. So you need to figure out what that is, but we have to actually pressure test the gas line and then fax in a pressure test. Then the gas company receives that, they come out, they do an inspection, they make sure that that gauge says exactly what it's supposed to, whether it's 30 or 60, which is just a normal standard PSIG that we commonly have to use depending on what county we're in. And then they'll actually set the meter and they'll unlock it for us. So I'm gonna show you how I do, how I pump it up. This is my little portable air compressor that I am using. I've got it plugged up. I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna pump this thing up by putting this right here on this valve stem. I'm gonna put it up to about 30 PSI. Right there on 30 PSI. Okay, good deal. Let the rest of the pressure off. All right. Now that we've got air on the gas line inside, I'm gonna go inside and use this spray bottle here with soap and water to spray each one of my connections to see if there's bubbles, which could indicate that there's a leak. Now, what tool do I use if I have an existing gas line and I'm not doing a pressure test like this, I'm just trying to find the gas leak. Say there's an existing gas line with a meter already and gas in that line and a customer says, I smell something. Let's see if we can find the leak. How do we do that? Let me show you the tool. This right here is a combustible gas detector. And if you've got a gas line with gas in it, then you can use this tool here to find the leak. It's got a little sniffer, it's got a little on button here and it'll beep if you are near the gas leak because it'll smell that gas, right? But you can always use the tried and true method which is just soap and water in a spray bottle. Let's go spray some connections. We'll start outside. And I'll spray every single connection. I'm gonna definitely spray this connection here. Definitely spray that gauge. And we wanna make sure that there are no leaks. Of course, if our gauge does not stay at 30, then we know there's a leak. So, all right, let's go check the connections inside. All right, testing our fittings inside of the fireplace here, and we use track pipe, which is this corrugated steel pipe here covered with this PVC covering here. This is track pipe. Track pipe comes in half inch, three quarter, one inch size, and that's most common sizes we use. 
And we also use black iron, which I'll show you what black iron looks like. Want to get a rag, that way you don't get that soap everywhere. So this right here is for the stove. And I don't see any leaks on this one. All right, there's our gas line coming to our gas furnace, half inch black iron. Oh, half inch 90, 90, half inch to one inch bell reducer. And then we've got a manifold and we've got half inch track pipe right here going to our stove and then half inch black iron here. There's where our gas line comes in at. So I've got to spray all these fittings down, make sure we don't have any leaks. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Yeah, these fittings are notorious for leaking right here because you usually have to tighten it up and then loosen it and then tighten it back up. It's kind of like a flare fitting. You gotta make sure that you tighten it twice. Here's our half inch track pipe. And one goes up to the stove, the other one goes around and over there in the corner to that gas fireplace. It looks like I don't have any leaks right here either. All right, tested all the fittings and it's still holding pressure. Whoa, got a little bit of water in my gauge there. That's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and fax in the pressure test. That way they can set the meter on this one. This is gonna be a good one right here. There's the return, there's the supply. Anytime you have gas line in a wall covered up, it has to be continuous. It can't have any joints. Otherwise you have to have access to the joint. That's why this gas line is welded. This is for this new construction house that we're putting a gas line in for a stove, fireplace, hot water heater. We're gonna use three quarter inch track pipe for the hot water heater. And this half inch track pipe is for the stove, the fireplace, and this is a 100 foot roll. 100 foot roll of half inch track pipe. This right here is a 50 foot roll of three quarter inch track pipe. So track pipe, counter strike, flexible gas piping. Love this stuff. Makes the job so much easier, so much quicker. Here's where our gas line will go into the building and they'll set the stub up here with the riser and then they'll have a meter. There's where our outdoor condenser is gonna be. New construction house, we're roughing in the HVAC. All right, we're back at the house. Looks like the meter's been set. So now all I have to do is take this right here off and then I'll leave that elbow and I'll put this in that elbow. And then this right here will hook up right here. Okay, see that? Easy peasy. And then all I gotta do is turn this right here, get you a adjustable crescent wrench and turn this so it's straight up and down and then you'll have gas going into the home awesome there's our track pipe for the gas fireplace and you can see it's a half inch line and we've got our track pipe fitting here and a half inch cap and that runs up and over and then we've got another gas line here this is for our stove we got a half inch shut off half inch nipple and a cap here all right there's our attic access for our furnace and then you can see there's our gas line there's a t and we've got a inch and a half gas line and an inch and a half to one inch bell reducer then we got a one inch by one inch by half inch t and then our gas line goes to our furnace over here so there's our line sets coming down and then out. And that's where our outdoor unit will be. Main gas line coming in. Got to make sure you get this roughed in before they foam. Check out this huge gas line, two inch. Made a manifold on the end. And you can see we reduced down and then we're using half inch track pipe going to some fireplaces. And then you can see that's one inch track pipe going to an outdoor set of gas logs. A very good example for why you need to do a pressure test if you run gas line on a job is I've had a install crew go back to a job 
when there was supposed to be air on the line and there's no air, when they repressurized the gas line that they ran, they found that one of the construction crews that was on that new construction house had run a nail through the track pipe that was run through a section of the wall. So we ended up having to take and cut the gas line above the wall and then run it on top of the wall and it was for a hot water heater. But this is something that can happen. So it's a great idea to have a pressure test on your gas line until the construction is over, until you're ready to actually hook up your appliances in the house like your fireplace, like your gas dryer or your stove. You need to have a pressure test. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button if you did. Let me know in the comments what you learned. If you got a question, questions become content. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.